Hello, welcome. This is section 2.1, units of measurement. So what do you need to know out of here? Well, basically you need to know that if we're talking about a uh, meter or a centimeter, something like that, we're talking about length. So we're talking about a distance. If we are talking about a cubic meter, which could also be a cubic centimeter, which is what we more often use, or if it's a liquid or a gas, we'd be talking about a liter or a milliliter. Well, now we're talking about volume. Okay. Now, a couple of conversions that you have to know. Of course, 1,000 millis are in a base unit, but this is a big one. One milliliter is equal to one cubic centimeter, so always remember that. And then also here, um, just to let you know, any English to metric units, like this is English to metric, you don't have to have those memorized. If, you're, if you ever need to use those, I'll make sure that you have them given to you. Okay, so don't take time to memorize their 3.78 gallon, or 3.78 liters in one gallon. So, you know, volume, we're talking about the uh, length times width times height. So that's going to be the volume of whatever you're talking about you know, some various form of that, which if you look at that's meters times meters times meters, which is where cubic meters comes from. You probably already knew that. If we talk about the gram or the kilogram, we are talking about mass. Temperature, uh, the SI is, is used as a Kelvin, and it's not degrees Kelvin, it's just Kelvin. And then uh, we often also use degrees Celsius. We never use Fahrenheit. I won't even have you do the uh, conversion from Fahrenheit to Celsius because we never use Fahrenheit. Now there is a conversion from Celsius to Kelvin and we'll learn about it later on. Celsius of course is based on water. Uh, so water freezes at 0 degrees Celsius. It boils at 100 degrees Celsius. So that's temperature. Uh, time, seconds. Typically, you know, you guys know what time is. Okay, and that's it. Section 2.1. Oops.